Hi, I'm Medic, and welcome to Newsflash, the place you need to be to keep up to speed with all things LEC. We've got a lot to cover this show, but here's a taste of what's happened so far. Corby has returned to Europe after being kicked out of his North American retirement home. The LEC production team were accused of broadcasting a replay of the 2020 Spring Finals after G2 slaughtered Fnatic in Week 3. And recent nerfs have made Aphelios near unplayable. Despite 200 years of work, the champion is now almost killable. We kicked off summer 2020 with a simple statement. Quick shot, take it away. Our teams are great. Well said, and so far our teams have done an outstanding job proving that message. Team Vitality came out all guns blazing, matching their spring win record in the opening week alone. Sharing the most improved trophy with them this season is SK Gaming, who equaled their spring record after week three. Fnatic's form has left a bad taste in our mouths. The seven-time champions went on a four-game losing streak and currently sit in a five-way tie for fifth place. But that's not all. Recently, Fnatic entered the world of high fashion as they partnered up with Gucci. But despite the launch of their new designer watch, they still haven't worked out the right time to dive. Hillisang's dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> With G2 also underperforming, we have some new top dogs here in Europe. Or should I say top cats, as Mad have become the LEC's Lion Kings. Rogue's spectacular form also leaves them tied for first place. And Summer has even had time to add a new verb to the League of Legends dictionary. Stay for a feeders, no? I can 200 years, by the way. Hey, look, look, look. I can also oh, shoot shoot 200 I think it's a watch. <laughs> And then, just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any weirder, we experienced a mind-melting week four. G2 were nearly as shocked as I was when Patrick Cephelios stole away their Infernal Dragon. Oh. Is that order one wonder? Oh my god! Oh my! God Gilius returned for Schalke and saved them from a winless first half of the season and a brutal onslaught of memes with an almost perfect game against Fnatic. Then, to top it all off, Razork turned the Mad Lions into scaredy cats with a truly frightening teleporting fiddlesticks. Tries to flash away, but the follow is there. Misfits 4 0 on the scoreboard. Kaka, kaka! Now, of course, while we're talking about what peak League of Legends looks like, we'd be remiss to not show you what our LEC players are capable of. Here's our top picks of summer so far. Part of that for me was because sometimes G2 just. Well, they mess around a little bit on day one, as we see here. Cat's gonna get kicked back. That is far too clean from Shadow and Humanoid. Teleport is absolutely questionable. Melissa will go in. Oh, Hillisang with the goal. Left alone and will be cut down eventually. Let's see how much damage you can put out. Yeah, uh, just wait until Hansama lands one Q and it's all over. Yeah, definitely. Hansama. Wait, wait. That's a lot of damage. It's not done yet. I saw Rotor's death warrant, but he's still alive. Inex is looking to get a second. He gets a double kill. The lifesteal, the death stars. What is happening? What? Inex is turning around to Hans Summer. Here comes Nukes. That is incredible. For more, Destiny has the flash to try and get away, but with the play, he will delay a Fnatic from pressing any further forward. And oh, right no, he won't. Oh, oh self-made. Self-made. Self-made's dead. Oh, we missed everything. He should, oh, by the dead. tower. Oh, that's oh. beautiful from Destiny. If you think we've missed your favorite play of summer so far, let us know in the comments down below. The teams haven't been the only ones shaking things up, and one thing that's been on everybody's mind is the LEC Talent's rendition of Diplo and Side Pieces, On My Mind. Our talent put on an S-tier performance, but it wasn't easy. Let's have a look at a few of the clips that didn't make the cut. <laughs> So. <laughs> I asked for this. Guess we'll give it a shot. Music, music, please. Am I just punching everywhere or? Well, that's all that we have time for to... Wait, wait a second. Oh, breaking news. I've just been told we're going to hand it over to Predictius, who has some new information on the standing so far. Cheers, Medic. But Predictius was my dad's name. 
I am Explanius, master of explaining things. Now you might be looking at the LEC standings and think to yourself, how is it possible for five teams to be in fifth place only in week four? Well fortunately, I'm here to walk you through it. You see, Rogue, they lost to G2, who lost to XL, who lost to Origin, who lost to Vitality, who lost to Med, who lost to Misfits, who lost to SK, who lost to Fnatic, who lost to Schalke, who then lost to Rogue. It's a circle of teams that have lost lives to other teams. A circle of life, one might say. Now, does the Lion King ring any bells? Do the Mad Lions ring any more bells? Now, the Mad Lions are up here, and Fnatic are down here. The reason for that is bananas. Kaiser's Wukong support ate all the bananas, which is why Reckless did nothing during his two Soraka games. But it doesn't end there. Wukong is where the 200 years meme began, and Aphelios is where it thrived. What's the year? 2020. Take out a two, and you have 200. Where does the two go? G2. All the signs are leading to them. G2 won summer last year and sacrificed plenty of teams to Cthulhu. Now that they suck, sacrifices are on the low end. Therefore, all we need to do is sacrifice G2 to the High Priest of the Great Old Ones and our standings will be back to normal. I hope that clears everything up. Well, that didn't actually help at all, but you're doing a really good job, Predictius. I guess you guys are all now caught up on the past four weeks of action. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, the LEC is back this Friday. Don't you dare miss it.